that, that should let everybody know that it's time to take a stand. The feds say they do have video that they seized during the raids from those freak offs, so they know who the celebrities are if they're already involved in the freak offs. Word on the street is Diddy's got many other celebs running cover for him, trying to keep the whole freak off secret under wraps. Allegedly, a lot of famous and high profile people we know who were a part of the music mobile's crimes, and after the recent name dropping, we get to know more about the criminal ring of the entertainment world up until now. Most IDs have been keeping real quiet, barely saying a word since Diddy's legal problems hit the news and folks, it's quite logical. Shaw Sims is known for his influence and palms, is known for his influence and power. And that's why so few in Hollywood spoke out against him now, thanks to none, the other Snoop Dogg. All the wild cats are out of the bag, and the storm is coming to Tinneltown that will wash away all the dirty figure. It wasn't the greatest place to be, so we had a lot of cleaning up to do. Now you may be wondering why is Snoop getting involved at all? Well, according to all the whispers, he was one of those high-profile names who used to be at Diddy's infamous parties back in the day. These bashes are now under the investigation of the federal agents, and it looks like Snoop is the one to have slipped a few disturbing details naming those who helped Diddy in his criminal activities he's now accused of. As the prosecution states, Calls did not do this all on his own. He used his business and employees of that business and other CD associates to get his way, and Snoop Dogg knew better than to fall under the influence of the same lifestyle. Ever since his wife Shanti became his manager in 2021, he's been keeping his distance from Diddy Word as after she stepped in things between. Two rappers cooled off now. It looks like Snoop might be getting ready to drop some serious tea about who are behind organizing these parties. Established artists, new artists, producers that I love. With news of music mobile, Shaw Diddy Combs being arrested in New York City came new revelations regarding his alleged illegal activities. The charges include racketeering conspiracy, intimate trafficking by force fraud, coercion, and transportation to engage in intimate ACIDs, all this became evident when the authorities found incriminating. Recordings during the raids, Combs was pleaded not guilty to all charges. But everyone's on edge in Hollywood. Think about it. We've all seen clips of those big names at Diddy parties over the years. The guest lists were stacked with the listers, Jay-Z and his wife Beyonce Kim, Kardashian J-Lo, and basically everyone you see on TV or grand these days. And it may just happen that a lot of them were involved in the after PR bashes when the most sinister part was starting. Office is determined to investigate and prosecute no matter how powerful or wealthy or famous you may be. Apparently, since the raids that took place in March 2024, the feds got enough time to study video evidence from those freak offs and they know exactly who was there. And if Snoop starts dropping names, this whole thing could explode and turn the whole showbiz upside. Down people are speculating hard that he might expose others who were tight with Diddy and got caught up his business. And let's not forget, Lil Rod's lawsuit already dropped some names. He threw some shade at folks supposedly connected to Diddy. And now with all these updates coming in, people are going back to check who was really in the mix. One name mentioned was Diddy's most recent girlfriend, Young Miami. And you know she was rolling with Diddy in everything he was doing, as she stated in. One interview, he approached me with a lot of business ideas. You should do this. I see this in you, so it was more of that for me. He saw more in me than music. Now, young Miami's been pulled into the whole mess with claims that she helped move substances for Diddy's victims. You know, but as time went on and, you know, I had to deal with the reality. And so apparently, young Miami was mixed up in something shady, moving a substance known as pink for Diddy back in April. She was losing her chances to soar high in this business and became the part of Diddy's crew since they started dating. So young Miami was named as dealer in Lil Rod's ad onto his lawsuit against Eden. In this document, the producer stated how he had witnessed the city girl singer bringing her man certain substances when his usual dealer, a guy named Brendan Paul, got arrested. So when Brendan couldn't come through anymore, the story goes that Diddy started calling up young Miami to deliver the goods in exchange for some career advancement. And then with him, it was like he was able to, you know, take my career to the next level. I did the Miguel, no wonder she was ready to ride with Diddy until the end, in addition to elevating her status and standing in the industry.
The music mobile has reportedly gave Young Miami a generous allowance, something she of course decided to deny. But it looks like she was another enabler and supplier of everything. Diddy wanted to keep his sick parties going. And there will definitely more names to be dropped, but the public can't wait for all these criminals hiding behind the glitz to be exposed, as one person commented, let the snitching and throwing people on the bus begin, and another user added next in the lineup, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, but it doesn't end there, oh no, the guy who's bioing Diddy R.Y. Jones, he says he was working on Diddy's latest album between September and November 2022. And according to him, things got real uncomfortable when the bad boy SEO wanted to turn Rodney into his little toy boy. Uh, sometimes, you know, Diddy would request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. He was accusing Diddy of making unwanted advances like groping him and trying to pressure him into doing things he didn't want to do, according to him. Diddy made inappropriate moves on him multiple times and made the entire experience of working with the music titan a total nightmare. He's a monster. He'll do whatever is necessary to get exactly what he wants. He doesn't take no for an answer, he told me himself. I'll smack my mama. We knew for a hot minute that Diddy was a bit savage, but with every new claim accusations, it's like we haven't even seen his darkest side savage. I'm a savage. Oh, I'm a savage. Whatever I wanted to Diddy's public image as a family man and a devoted father has long developed huge cracks. And these stories of him forcing women and even kids to do something against their will for his own pleasure are painting a totally shocking picture of what's been going on behind closed doors. But hold up, because it gets even more disturbing as you learn the names of those who have been helping him to run this business and the stuff they all have been doing. Is just Sip Jaguar Wright has been out here spilling some serious tea on Diddy for a while even claimed that some of the intimate videos with folks like Justin Bieber and Drake were sold on the dark web. I mean it kind of explains the whole mess poor Justin Bieber has got instead of a normal life, people around me just kind of hanging on. Wanting stuff from me knowing that like as the investigation deepens this whole Diddy situation just keeps getting crazier like it's one thing to get caught up in a compromising position. But selling the footage you've got on your own artists, he didn't even stop until he was. Caught apparently selling those videos was some kind of showing the celebs who's the daddy in the industry. And no wonder the judge doesn't want Diddy to be out from jail ever since the music mobile was arrested. It's like the industry was finally able to breathe out at those. Private parties and other exclusive events. People say he never hold back acting on whatever fantasies he's got going on. According to court records, prosecutors allege they have obtained information from dozens of victims and witnesses. And it's like everyone now wants to snitch on Diddy Team Zia's, reporting that at least two new people plan to cooperate with the feds, and they're willing to testify in front of the grand jury according to the indictment. Other celebs died security household staff personal. Assistants and other associates took part in the alleged crimes and helped hide the criminal activity by using bribery and threats. But the main question is were they doing it on the own will? Or was Diddy manipulating them as well as prosecutors say victims believed they could not refuse? Ecom's demands without risking their financial or job security or without repercussions in the form of physical or emotional mistreatment. Wealth is one of the tools used to keep alleged illegal activities under wraps. But influence power, and the public image of the individual also played a role apparently Diddy, was running a huge empire of intimidation and everyone who might be involved can pretend to be another victim of Diddy's crazy actions. What level of panic are you hearing from all these people we know who associated with him over the years? But if some of his enablers believe that they can sit this one out there's no chance for them now, because both the feds and the public are watching every suspicious move of CBS who are close to the bad boy as one person wrote enough with famous and rich getting away with this crap, and another user added a lot of people in entertainment sports movies. Politicians are very worried it looks like the show biz will be facing tough times in the next few months, as the feds will be looking for clues and connections in this high-profile Diddy's case. And what do you think about this folks who'll be arrested and going down next? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check my other videos.